The prevalence of uterine fibroids in the UK, uh, the general consensus is that approximately 35% of women um, are affected. Now, if we look at certain ethnic uh, populations, um, the instance is much higher. For example, in Afro-Caribbean women, uh, the instance can be as much as 70 to 80% in, in this particular group of women. The symptoms of uterine fibroids um, are a particular subset. Um, they can range from uh, bleeding symptoms in terms of heavy periods or prolonged periods. Uh, they can be also pressure symptoms in terms of constipation, so this is pressure on the bowel um, or pressure on the bladder and this causes urine frequency um, and in, in some cases it may affect also fertility and so may present with subfertility um, in certain women. One in four women with fibroids have severe enough symptoms to warrant uh, seeking treatment. Women seeking fibro treatment for their fibroids um, are often faced with, unfortunately, still one option uh, if they present to their GP or gynaecologist, and this often tends to be hysterectomy if their family is complete, or myomectomy um, if their family is still not complete. Um, again, both of these are invasive surgical procedures. Um, there are newer, more minimal invasive treatment options uh, emerging, but these are not always offered to, to women. Uh, they include uterine artery embolization and the newer technology, um, which is the non-invasive option um, of MR-guided focused ultrasound surgery. MR-guided focused ultrasound surgery is a completely non-invasive active treatment option for uterine fibroids. It combines uh, two technologies, a high energy ultrasound beam which causes burning within tissue and an MRI imaging system which is used as a form of guidance to ensure correct and accurate burning in the target tissue and also gives the physician uh, feedback on temperatures achieved and so on. Benefits of MR guided focused ultrasound surgery as a treatment option for uterine fibroids are that it is a non-invasive treatment option. It's performed as an outpatient procedure with the patient uh, completely conscious under minimal sedation. Um, as such there's really no recovery period um, and again very minimal disruption to the patient's work life. Current research has also shown that MR-guided focused ultrasound can be used uh, in women who wish to conserve their fertility. The risks of MR-guided focused ultrasound are very minimal, and that goes with it being a non-invasive procedure. Um, however, there is no procedure in medicine that is completely risk-free, and so the, the minimal risks that are associated with focused ultrasound are um, a very small risk of um, skin burns. And this is in particular for patients with previous scars um, and for these women measures are taken to avoid that. Um, just to give you um, an idea of the instance, for example, um, out of 400 women treated there has only been one instance of skin burn um, in a woman who, who has had a previous scar for caesarean section. Um, other risks include um, urinary infection and that's more related to the catheter inserted during the procedure. Um, and there also may be a very small risk of temporary nerve irritation, again related more to the treatment of uh, posterior fibroids or back wall fibroids.